This video will give you an overview of connectors and connections. In this module, you will learn to describe connectors, review types of connectors, and define a connection. Connectors provide means by which cloud application integration can connect to third-party systems. These third-party systems can be either web services or applications. Connectors are divided into two categories, native connectors and service connectors. Native connectors are also called built-in connectors and consist of Informatica cloud connectors and listener-based connectors. Informatica cloud connectors are designed to access data to and from the cloud for each of your applications. For example, connectors for JDBC, NetSuite, Workday, SAP, OData, and Salesforce are Informatica cloud connectors. Listener-based connectors are designed to be used for event-based processing of messages and files. They are classified further as file-based connectors and message-based connectors. File-based connectors are designed to configure and monitor file-based systems for files or objects on a file system or any other type of storage. You can retrieve files and process the contents of the files or perform file operations like move or read file metadata. For example, file FTP and Amazon S3 connectors are file-based connectors. Message-based connectors are designed to configure queue-based message brokers like ActiveMQ and JMS. For example, AMQP and Amazon SQS are message-based connectors. Service connectors are used to connect to web services. They are configured to specify a set of operations or actions that are associated with a specific service endpoint. Connections can be created using native connectors or service connectors. It is linked to a data source, like Salesforce, a database, or a form-based service connector. To create a connection, select a connection type, specify connection properties, for example name, description and other connection parameters, save and publish the connection. After doing this, you can now see the objects associated with the connection. The connection properties window consists of several tabs. These tabs vary depending on the type of connection you select. The first tab is the properties tab, and it defines the connection information. Name specifies a unique name for the connection. Location specifies the path where the connection will be saved. Description defines a brief description of the connection. This is an optional field. Type specifies the native connector or service connector that you use for this connection. Run on specifies the execution environment for this connection. It can be an on-premise agent or cloud server. The connection test displays the result of the connection test. OData enabled identifies if this connection can be accessed as per OData specifications. In other words, data as a service. Once the connection is published, this tab will show the metadata of the third-party system this connection connects to. What you see there is specific to the third-party system. In this video, you learned about connectors and connections. Please follow the subsequent videos to learn more about how to create service connectors and connections.